Hi everyone. This is a video of how to set up a BMS 8S 24 volt 30 amp. So this is the BMS. I purchased it from this company. So it's whatever the name is. It's from a company. And most likely it's in the US. Because it came very quick. So this is the BMS as you can see. 8S 24 volt. 30 amp. The reason I purchased 30 amp because this pack of battery cannot produce that much power. Because uh, I think the pack can only produce 39, 37 amp. So 37 amp. That's the most you can produce. So I figure all I need is 30 from out of it. So I will, I will test to see if it's, if if the BMS work 100%. Right now. Is how can I set the BMS? Now this is what it come with. This is uh, this is the literature they sent with it. Basically, you're supposed to start from here. Okay, you're supposed to start from here. The wiring instruction, and at least they send the wiring instruction. Okay, so there's the wiring instruction. And we got the next page. Uh, we side down. We got the next page. How we do it? I think they just print something for every one of every one of the BMS they have. So therefore, you follow it. And if you follow it, everything will be fine. Like I said, this is for the battery. The B stands for battery. That's the one gonna connect it to the first negative of the battery. Everything else is a positive, 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 positive. So now. They show you all the step. So you gotta follow the instruction. The instruction is not that much. This is an eight, this is eight eight S. There's nothing here for eight S. <coughs> but I'm accepting the way it is. So I kind of figured out this thing how to do it. Basically, you got the B for negative. That goes to the battery. It goes to the first to the main negative of the pack. Okay, that's the first wire. And then let me put this thing down. That's the first wire. So this is the battery. This is the BMS. Now I'm going to have it on this side. The reason I'm going to have it on that side because um, because the negative is there. So I'm going to have it on that side. Okay, On this side, it's going to be right there. I'm going to have it like this. So this is go for the powers. That's been there for the wherever you're gonna connect it. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a connection just like that to the head of this. I'm gonna remove this because I will no longer need this part. This is a main negative of the battery, so I will not never I will not use it anymore because I'm gonna use the main negative connected to this. Connected to that. So I'm gonna have it like this. The main negative is gonna be like this. In there. So I got a Unsolder this, take it out, put the new wire in, then make a connection on this. This connection, put it in the black one. So therefore, I will have the BMS ready to go. But that will be the last thing I do. In the meantime, before I start that, I put this on the side. I have my electric, uh, whatever this thing is. This is pretty good. I like it, so I've been using it, so it works pretty good for me. I have my soldering iron. This is a broken one. It still works, so I'm going to do that on that. Now, this is the wire. This is how I'm going to have the wire. This is the main. Let me fix the one. This is the main. This is the main wire. This is the main negative. The main negative is going to go to the main negative in here. This is the first. This is the first wire. If you look at it here. It says. The B minus is the main negative of the battery. You're going to have two wires plugged in there. The black one and the negative. This is the negative part of it. And then the red one, which is a positive. So this wire, this is the second wire, is going to go right there. Because I have a tab there. That's why I'm going to, I'm going to solder them here. So in other words, I'm going to cut those wires a little bit shorter to make it work. Okay. 
So it's gonna go right there. That's where it's going. And the next, the next wire, this is the the, the third wire, is gonna be on the main and the second and the negative and the positive here. This is where it's going. It's gonna go right there. That's where I'm putting it. So the next one is gonna go. Take the next one, which is the fourth wire, is gonna be. So we have this is gonna be in here. It's gonna be in here. Okay. The next wire, which is another positive, is gonna be in here. It's gonna be in here. I think this way it was wrong. This way it's gonna be here. And the next one gonna be in here. And then the next one gonna be down. It's gonna be in here. Okay. And the next wire is gonna be in here, which is another positive. And the next wire, the next wire gonna be on the bottom here, okay, and the next wire gonna be on top here, which is supposed to be a total of nine wires. So it's a total of nine wires. You plug the first negative, and then uh, right after, right on the middle of the negative, you plug the positive. This is how it is. You see, first wire, the black one, you plug it in the main negative. It goes exactly where. Where is your blue wire is going? They both, all two of them combine together, plug it in here. Okay. The next wire, which is the, this is the red one. It goes right on top of it. But at this point, it's on the bottom of ours because our positive is on the bottom. The positive is, the positive is right here. That's a positive. Right there. So, now our next wire gonna be going here the second one the third okay this is the first one which is a black one the first positive which is the second wire third wire fourth wire fifth wire six wire seven wire eight wire nine wire the nine one is the positive I'm gonna put it here so that's why we have on a S on an 8S, 8S you have 9 wire. On a 7S you have 8 wire. Okay. In other words, on a pack of 7, uh, 8S you only have 1, 2, 4, 6, 8 positive. 8S, 8 positive you have there. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video, set it up the way I, the way I explained it to you. I'm going to set it up the way I explained it. And then test it and see how it looks. So first, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off because we will not need it anymore. I'm going to heat my solid iron, take them off. And, and then start plug those and then test it. Let me show you guys what I did. In the meantime, I'm going to pause that video.